How much longer are you going to put your life off? Everything that you've ever thought about doing, man, how much longer are you going to put it off? You can always come up with reasons to delay your life. What do I mean by your life? You're obviously living every day, aren't you? The life that you want, the things that you want to do, jobs that you want to have, kind of money you want to make, you know, the way you want your relationship to be, the way you want to be physically, man. Maybe you want to look a little bit better. Maybe you want to be a little more healthier. Maybe you're getting tired of being tired all the time, fatigued all the time. Everything just stresses you out. Always dreaming, though, thinking about that better life. But guess what? It keeps getting put on hold. So every time we get to a certain place of the year, the start of a new year, then everybody talks about what? New Year's resolutions. A New Year's resolution. Does It's just an arbitrary date on a calendar, isn't it? January 1, December 31st, March 31st. Does it really matter what day you begin on creating your best life? If you need something like January 1 of a new year to get started on your best life, then man, let January 1 be the day that you make the choice. Either way, it's all going to come down to the very same thing. Resolution. Resolution, which comes from what? Resolute, which means to be determined and unwavering. Now, think about that for a second. Determined and unwavering. Now, we don't really have a whole lot of things in life that we can point to to demonstrate for us something determined and unwavering, at least not on the human scale. You can certainly see it in animals, though. Animals are what you call resolute. Animals are what you see as determined. It could be a little chihuahua or it could be a lion. Either way, resolve is in them. In other words, they are so resolute on what it is they want. If it's a lion season on a prey or if it's your little terrier going after a squirrel. Either way, there is no second guessing in their mind. When they go for something, they are resolved, right? It is resolute. That is their resolution. They are going to go get what it is that they want. They are going to seize it, and that's it. There is no second guessing. There is no doubt. There is no questioning themselves. They're not saying, oh, maybe I should just put it off. I'm just not feeling up to it today. No. When they see it, they want it. They go after it. How much longer? Are you going to put your life off? So when it comes down to New Year's resolutions, it really comes down to that. Are you determined and unwavering about a particular area of your life? So in other words, if you just set yourself up at the first of the year and think, you know what, let me pick an area to make a New Year's resolution for about. It's going to be my health. It's going to be my money. It's going to be this. Are you determined and unwavering in that area? Because if you're not, guess what? Within a month, you won't be pursuing it any longer. You know, like they say, gyms are always full in the first of the year. That month of January, the gym is packed. Why? Because people make resolutions about what they're going to do for their health. And so they fill the gym. What happens in February? Those numbers start to die off. March, the numbers get even lower. April and May, guess what? You're with the same people that were there every month anyway. Why? Because they were resolute about what they wanted in life. The others, it was a whim. It was more of a wish, not a resolution. Resolution is when you seriously want something, when you are determined, when you are unwavering, which means there is no room in you for competing desires. Think about that. There is no room left in you for a competing desire. That's what you want. There is no competing desires in the mind of a lion, in the mind of that little terrier or chihuahua when they want something. They are resolute. They are unwavering, right? What is a wave, (laughs) right? A wave gets pushed around, right, by other forces in the ocean, by the wind. Waves, they're just, they're arbitrary. They move. They're not steady. When you are wavering, when you are blown around, you are not resolute. That is not a resolution. You are not going to keep your commitments. So if you're going to keep your commitment, then there has to be no room for competing desires. What's a competing desire? Something else that you want That's not as important as the original goal that you set out for yourself. If you are in serious physical 
uh, deterioration and you need to work on your health, then you can't allow other competing desires to get in the way. Why? Because they'll sap your energy. They'll sap your creativity. They're going to take from your time and you won't devote what you need to devote to get your life in order. Therefore, the person who goes to the doctor, right, and the doctor tells him, listen, if you keep living like this, you're going to be dead in three months. If you keep drinking like this, if you keep smoking like this, you're going to be dead in a year. Well, that's a wake up call, right? What happens? All other competing desires are driven out of your mind simply because of the value that you place on your life, meaning the greater the value you place on something, the more it will dominate and you'll be resolute about it. So if you want to be determined, if you want to be unwavering, then you have to be resolute, which means no competing desires, which means the most important desires that you want to work on in the upcoming year, make sure you attach enough value to them that you'll take ownership of it. You'll drive out the desires that compete. You'll drive out the laziness. You'll drive out the compact procrastination. You'll not spend so much time goofing off all the time, wasting time on television. And you'll devote yourself to that thing that you say that you want. So that's really the big question starting out. What is it that you want? What is it that needs to happen in your life? Can you prioritize your goals? And some of your goals, again, might be driven by serious needs in your life. You may really need to get your ass in shape this year. You may really need to get your finances in order this year. You may really need to do something about that relationship. You may really need to do something about your job, about your career. It may really need to happen. Can you prioritize those desires? Because what happens is we get in our own way. We allow ourselves to get distracted. We allow other things to break our focus. We allow other people to sap us of our time, rob us of our energy, drain us of our desires. We allow the competing desires to come in and break our resolution. So what is your New Year's resolution? It's got to be the things that are most important. Prioritize your goals and desires and then work on creating enough value for them that you'll drive out all competing desires and you will achieve your goals. Can you dig that? Man, I hope you can. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck Metal up.